am Sumati from Zoology Department. Uh, in this slide, uh, we have to know about the introduction to invertebrate and coordinate. This is a subject. This is a second module in this subject. Uh, there is a allied zoology paper. We have to know about the one of the peculiar and a very famous animal that is called Obelia. Why we call it peculiar animal? It looks like a plant, but it is a animal. Obelia is an animal. Uh, what is a phylum? Phylum is a Cirrhodireta, and the class is a Hydrozoa. Order is a Hydroidea. Suborder Leptomedusa. Next genus is a Obelia, and species is a Geniculata. So we called Obelia Geniculata. That is a name. This species name uh, in Obelia. Just we have to shorter Obelia colony. This is a life cycle of the Obelia. Why first we have to know about this life cycle of the Obelia? how the animals is developed. So just first I have to introduce the life cycle of Obelia. How to know about the subject in this structure of Obelia, external structure, it have the medusae, another one is your power leaves, that's very important. You know very well about the male contain a sperm and the female power leaves also contain a egg. After that, it is the formation of zygote. The zygote is formation, it goes to two cell stage. After it goes to four cell stage, then it is developed in the one of the stage that is called plastula stage. Why that is plastula stage is important in this obelia colony? After the plastula stage, the free swimming larva, one of the larva, planula larva is developed from that plastula stage. The planula larva is developed from that stage after they have to growing after they have the formation of young polyp. The polyp is very very important. The polyps also developing from the obelia colony. Next the polyp also formation of so many colonies that is a medusae. After that the life cycle is going on from uh, sperm, egg in the obelia colony and also developing stage in the life cycle going on to producing a new obelia colony. It is a obelia structure. Obelia geniculata, that is an animal, it is not a plant, and the Obelia is a, uh, that is a gonia, next one hydroiza, another one is a feeding polyp, another one is a medusae. But what is the uses of medusae, that is a sexual zoid is called medusae, that is hydrocallus, hydrocallus means that is a formation of tentacles and also branches of the colony, that is a callus. Another one is a hydrant. What is the uses of this hydrant? The hydrant is used for feeding of obelia. Obelia is feeding through the hydrant. Just they have to intake of the food material through the polyp. And the obelia uh, gonagi, uh, the gona, gongia, that is it is used for uh, formation of new ones. That is called hydrocallus, polyps, medusae, everything also important in the obelia. This is structure of Obelia colony. It is one of the portion of Obelia colony. Uh, just we have to know about base of the Obelia structure, the diagram that is hydrocallus. It is attached to the substratum, any one of the substratum, any one of the uh, plant, any one of the mostly it is a occur in the substratum is a rocks. They have to attaching rocks on the that is a substratum hydrocallus and also above the colony it have the plastostyle and also it have the hydrant or polyp. Another it have the so many um, the colony structure, it have the so many branches of the body and also it have the gonophore, gonotheca, plastostyle. It, it is also useful for the production of new one things. Another one is it covered by the shell, conasarc and perisarc. And above colony, the tip of the colony it also has the hydrant and it have the mouth also and the hydro, hydrothica, it is all called hydrant. That it, uh, these have a polyp have some vertical section, that vertical section, the next diagram of the, uh, this uh, slide, VS of polyp means vertical section of the polyp. Why we study about polyps, the polyps also used for uh, feeding habit and producing medicine and everything also occurs in the polyp. Uh, it, it have the entire, it ha, in, inside of the polyp also have the cavity and you know very well about the two structures, I mean two uh, layers, ectodom, another one is the endodom. This ectodom, endodom, next hydrothica, that is a shell like structure hydrothica. Next it have the tentacles, they have the so many branches that is called a tentacle, it is used for movement also. 
the two tentacles are joining with the mouth region already i told you the polypal is used for feeding habit and uh, so we have to concentration of the polyp of the obelia polyp the medusa structure overview of the medusae why the medusa is used for well, totally in sexual reproduction the medusa is important this medusa all the hanenia mouth region and also base of the mouth it had the manoprium and the manoprium also leads to the stomach region this also hanenia medusa next it have the ring like structure cilia like structure that is a tentacle another one is it have the radial canals and also circular canals you know radial symmetry and the circular symmetry symmetry means that we have to dividing the uh, part of the same that is here called symmetry and the velum and also it have the important part gonads and it also have the stetosis the sub uh, sub umbrellar surface these are the external structure of medusae this medusae is used for the polyps is producing the medusae the medusae is producing of the sexual zooid so in the medusae medusa is a singular medusae is a plural we have to know about the medusa about uh, obelia is very important these are the medusae showing the radial symmetry another one is developing the plastostyle appa radial symmetry in they have to dividing the four cement four uh, divide same portion of this uh, obelia colony that is a radius another one is a sub radius region so everything all together colonial structure and tentacles also present uh, this development of the obelia medusae and the plastostyles is uh, uh, given the some of the part that is a vesicles and also it have the some rudiment this also have the inner ectoderm outer ectoderm that is a layer and the sub umbrellar cavity and velum region and the gravity of the plastostyle in the it's a very important region is a manoprium that manoprium also act as a mouth that's all another one is a mesoglia these are the important part of the plastostyle uh, that is developed from the medusa so what are the habit and the habitat of obelia just we have to know about all the animals uh, where the, where it is present what are the food habit they have to follow that is called habit and habitat Obelia normally genus invertebrate you know very well about most of the animals is living in the marine obelia also living in uh, marine animal few species only occurs in the fresh water it may be available and it available throughout the earth and the oceans also uh, next in this obelia is the sedentary in nature sedentary animal means already i told you it uh, attaching in the, any one of the substratum that is sedentary in nature and the marine colonial found attached to the surface of the any one of the seaweeds any one of the molluscan shell any one of the rocks and the wooden piles any one of the shallow water and that is 80 meters in depth they have to living in the 80 meter depth of the uh, places any one of the marine uh, water and obelia is a cosmopolitan in distribution it is distributed in the everywhere in the particular places and forming the uh, what are the color of the obelia that is a whitish color it may be light brown color it is a plant like structure already i told you it look like plant like structure but it is a animal so we call that is a fur in the sea hence the common name of this obelia is a sea fur it is assigned to it because it looks like a plant structure so it is called sea fur why we called sea it is present most of the obelia is present in the marine animal so we called sea fur in the obelia the common term obelia is happen to sea fur i already told you because it have the very unique aspect of the animal that what is the unique characters that is a reproduction because the sexual and asexual reproduction occurs in the animals the reproduction strategy take place in the two distinct stages and uh, the structure also resembles of the sea anemone so we are also called sea fur but what are the two uh, sexual stages uh, two important things in this uh, obelia character characters that obelia throughout life it take place two forms already we have to known about the above slide the structure of polyp and medusae the polyp and medusae is important of the Uh, reproduction of animals in obelia the structure of the obelia apa external structure what are the structure they have to follow in the first form is a diploplastic animal the true tissue slayers is present that is one is a ectoderm that is called epidermis 
In the second form is a chestodermis that is called endoderm with mesoglea and also it have the jelly like substance it is filling between the two tissue layer two tissue layer mean ectoderm and endoderm it filled with some of the substance that is a jelly like substance next these animals carry nerves but it have no brain and no ganglia it has the nerves only they have not any separate brains and ganglia also and the ganglia also act as a brain that's all furthermore the cestovascular cavity it present in the beginning of the digestion take place apa digestive system also present it is a very little bit of digestion is take place and this animal is here yeah, already i told you digestive system uh, incomplete digestive tract it is not a yeah, fully developed digestive system it is a incomplete uh, a digestive system the moreover the digestion of the food take place which enter the uh, the polyps and the expelled through the some opening but uh, just they have to absorb the food material through polyp and also expelling some of the food material so it have not a yeah, and uh, correct fully developed digestive system and the mouth uh, uh, occurs in the top of the body that is a manoprium the polyp the stage and the, uh, normally the polyp stage also take place polyp uh, also have the manoprium or mouth furthermore this mouth is surrounded by the so many tentacles what is the use of this tentacle just they have to capture the prey and observe it that is the use of the tentacle the mouth is situated in the distal end of the main body structure and the medusa stage take place in the structure normally the reproductive polyp gonozoid consists of medusa buds other hydrant have the sterilization of the defense mechanism also the hydrant also uh, furthermore the main stachy body the colony comprises of the conosar that is one of the external covering conosar uh, moreover the normally the conosar is covered by the some protective perisarg one of the covering they have to protecting about themselves in the obelia colony the next generation of the life cycle is begin with the release of the medusa take place from the gonozoites that gonozoites uh, occurs in the polyps the polyps also releasing the gonozoites the result in the production of trisomy only the male medusa of the velum furthermore the male medusa the gonads of the mouth and the tentacles also occur uh, external physical appearance of the male female medusa probably indistinguishable we cannot distinguish that is a male and a female medusa occurs in the obelia so it is called indistinguishable and the medusa is certainly reproduce sexually and facilitates and release the sperm and the egg in the water uh, normally the sperm and the egg undergo a fertilization uh, result after that they have the formation of the zygote moreover the zygote certainly uh, the developed already i told you developed into the uh, next next cell stages two cell stage four cell stage next flotula and planula larva in the constitution is the ciliated swimming larva that planula larva also developed and the swimming larva that is it have the ciliated why because the ciliated it is used for movement cilia is used for movement uh, normally the planula just we have to know about that particular larva the planula larva living in the uh, free swimming for some time but they eventually attach themselves to solid surface moreover the planula start the reproductive phase of life when the attachment of the substrate take place here planula it is quickly changes to feeding polyp because it's very important to feeding when the polyp keep growing the polyp also goes to growing it continues develop to the branches of the feeding individual finally it result the formation of new generation that is called asexual budding not sexual budding that is a asexual budding budding mean they have to formation of new polyps that is a budding uh, further the gonads four gonads in the manoprium also uh, refers the main body structure first of all the food enter through the mouth and uh, certainly it make a entry of the manoprium the manoprium also act as a mouth the distribution of the food take place through the canal system it have the because it follow system that is a canal system moreover the canal system contain a radial canal that is the outer ring they have to symmetrical nature the colony of the obelia it consists horizontal thread like uh, root that is called hydrorhiza uh, where the hydrorhiza is occur it is attached on the wheel or any one of the substraction now what is the role of hydrorhiza it have to use us of attaching the animal from any one of the substratum because they have not floating water 
it must they have to attaching any one of the substratum from hydrorhiza arises the vertical branches the it is a stem like structure or how many centimeter it is a very minute 2.5 centimeter long with it is known as hydrocalus normally the hydrorhiza hydrocalus have the hollow tube the obelia is called a trimorphic colony tri mean three that is have the three kind of zooids also developed during the life cycle so what are the three type of zooids one is a polyps or hydrant another one is a plastostyle another one is a medusae the what is the role of polyps and hydrants that it a nutritive zooids that is why we call nutritive zooids they have to intake of the food material through polyps the polyps also have the mouth that is a hydrant also used to the uh, food so that is called nutritive zooids another one is a plastostyle that is a budding zooid uh, budding means they are actually they have to producing new obelia colony that is called a budding zooid next one it is a medusae that is a medusae is a sexual zooid they have to producing sperm and egg that is called a sexual zooid in fact start with obelia is a monomorphic and having the polyp it only later due to the development of the plastostyle and they become it is a dimorphic colony after the finally the medusae and the plastostyle tails also form the mature colony that it form after that they have to call it trimorphic colony during developing stage it is a dimorphic after fully mature development stage we called trimorphic colony uh, just we have to know about uh, very special life cycle of the obelia it is a elaborate structure of polyp colony it is facilitated to the sexual and asexual reproduction during this stage of the life the confinement of the obelia the substrate the surfaces of occurs Castrozoids available in the mature colony. Already I told you, mature colony only have the trimorphic colony. Furthermore, the castrozoids for the individual hydrant, they are developing in the hydrant. And the castrozoids certainly expand and contract the facilities to growth organism and also by this feeding. And the next, what is the asexual reproduction? and when the temperature of the water do not exceed 20 degrees celsius because the buds also formation of this temperature only put normally the uh, the colony is a break free from the colony and settle down the stolon arises in the lower side of the buds and also it produced uh, the colony uh, by budding in the obelia uh, that is called asexually the special mode of asexual uh, reproduction occurs in the obelia this is the life cycle just we have to uh, know about where the female medusa next female medusa is producing the egg another one is a male medusa that is a producing the sperm and also the male and the female fuses zygote is formed next two cell stage is formed next four cell stage is formed next plastula another one is a planula that is a presuming larva and the planula also settle down after that they have to forming the settle down they have to produce a polyp that is called young polyp next one of the developing polyp next one of the fully developed polyp in young polyp also they have not fully developed it means the, any one of the trimorphic colony nitrotizoids they have only formed they they not formation of the hydrant another one is a developing polyp another one is a fully developed polyp only have the trimorphic colony the life cycle of the medusa primary purpose of sexual reproduction obelia is a diocese in nature it means only the one pair of reproductive organs the medusa is occurs uh, no difference between the male and the female medusa and that is a uh, on the sub umbrella like structure the gonads that gonads also contain a ovaries and testes it is up, up here yeah, looks like a knob like structure beneath the radial canal as a result the gonad is a radial in nature radial canal means radial in nature radial symmetrical in nature fertilizations after the fusion of the egg and sperm when the ova and the sperm are fully developed the gonads in outer wall uh, rupture and releasing the ova the sperm into the ocean and the water is used in the used for fertilization already i told you they are releasing sperm and ova in the water the external fertilization occurs not internal fertilization and uh, what is the mean of external fertilization the externally in water they have to fuse and formation of zygote another flagellated sperm occasionally swim around the water and fertilize the ova the female medusae because the medusae is the motile form motile means movement it serves to 
key purposes for the colony that is a reproduction and gamete also dispersal in the water. Cleavage stages. What is meant by cleavage? Normally the zygote is divided two cell stage and four cell stage that is called cleavage. The fertilized eggs also goes to an equal and holoplastic cleavage. Holoplastic means they have to complete cleavage, not incomplete. Another they developing the plastula is a hollow ball and encloses the plastoseal and the single layer of the cells. This hollow is totally filled with the cell and the spring the plastula ball. The new name of the embryo and the castula is known as solid castula. The formation of first gastro stage is a solid castula. The embryo is released from the egg. That the membrane also free swimming larva. That larva is known as planula. The larva is swims around the long time, causing the species uh, normally spread widely in the water. And the entry down of the form, the cavity of the emerges, and the endoderm cell mosses occurs in that particular places. It is a very post free swimming larva in the water hydrula upon that is a, what is the stage of hydrula stage castula is elongated into the free swimming larva the next stage is called hydrula stage that is a ciliated planula larva it is swimming around looking like a substratum and attached in the sedentary colony any one of the substratum uh, normally in the solid endoderm is a break and develop into the enteron cavity uh, next, in the fixed planula, now the outer ciliated ectoderm and the inner endoderm making the two layered larva. They have to developing the two layer larva that is in the hydrula stages. Uh, tentacle, Upon that is a tentacle uses of the capturing of the any one of the food material. Uh, all the polyps also have the tentacles. The tentacles emerges in the circle as short buds from this section. At the end of the hypostome and apertures the mouth from the quickly. The immature hydrant known as hydrula that is resemble a polyp uh, like hydra it undergoes a recurrent and asexual budding by producing the comp complicated obelia structure why it is called the complicated obelia structure normally uh, the larva hydrula larva and it is a free swimming larva and it is undergoes a asexual budding and uh, it form fully matured larva also have the trimorphic colony and also developing the both sexual and asexual but, uh, reproduction occurs in the obelia. So that just we call the complicated obelia structure. Alternation of the generation that is a metagenesis in the term that is a used to the process of alternation of the generation and obelia alternate between the asexual and sexual mode of generation. The polyps asexually produce the medusa and medusa sexually produce the polyp. That is very important. Polyps asexually produced the medusa. After the medusa sexually produced the polyps. So, it is a peculiar character of the obelia. Finally, the asexual budding result in the formation of new generation of the polyp. It is called alternation of the generation. It is one of the peculiar and very famous structure in the obelia. It is a external already I, uh, we have to explaining. It is a diagram also explaining life history. And it is a very uh, like good uh, structure of this medusae. And that medusa is uh, developing of the sperm and one side of the medusa is developing the ovum. The fertilization take place and the zygote formed, four cell formed, uh, plastula stage and the planula developed. The planula is uh, attached in the one of the substratum and also it is developed in the young polyp. Uh, young polyps is uh, developed in the hydranth larva. The hydranth is developed in the fully matured obelia colony. That fully matured obelia colony is a formation of the budding and the hydrocalus and it is ready to produce a sexual and asexually uh, colony of the obelia. That is a very good uh, structure of this obelia colony. Just we have to know about this life cycle in this diagram. Uh, that is a conclusion. Uh, in these above uh, studies, the obelia, the obelia alternate between the asexual and the sexual mode of generation. And the polyp asexually produced a medusae while medusa sexually produced a polyp. That is finally asexual budding the result in the formation of new generation of the polyps. That is a conclusion of this one. Thank you.